Welcome back guys to the next entry of our waifu simulator journey. In the last episode we gathered a whole filming crew and in this one we are actually gonna start filming. But not before Yaomi and Ayaka tell us how great of a time they were having, chilling, swimming, running around without me mind you, and I feel kind of offended, but it is what it is. After they tell us all about the fun they were having on that day, we met up with everyone and slowly started planning on how the filming is gonna go. And here we get to introduce to a new potentially important character, Veronique and uh, Xavier. First, I'd like to introduce our new members. I did say there was a drama manager, that where um, she'll be in charge of all the films, props, two straight people got shipped together. Bono, our the whole community was up in arms a few days ago. To set up each scene's atmosphere. Maybe I got it. So after that, we needed to help a few people out with their problems, and after taking a look prop weapons that we are going to be using while filming the movie, we decided that Shero would be perfect actress to play one of the two main characters. And after that was all left and done, all we needed to do was start the shoot. We started the movie off by them just shooting the shit with their mom and then after the finishing the conversation, they play around and after coming back, they come to find out that it's quiet. <gasps> To leap? Where's Stay away. Oh, to leap is one of them. An iris. <gasps> Mother. No. Mother. She's. <laughs> She's. There. <laughs> I thought we would have come. more time with her, but she did so. Well, turns out someone killed her, and if I do say so myself, I also deserve an Oscar for the performance that I gave, but that's neither here nor there. But alas, after she dies, they leave a flower to her grave and then just dip out of there, thus the first scene of the movie is finished. After wrapping up for the day, we mapped up with Shara and started talking on how we will continue with our side investigation. And we went to the Clockwork Workshop and the Beaumont Workshop to ask if anyone was asking or did buy parts to make a gun or in the Beaumont Workshop example, a replica of a gun that they would be able to modify and change, make it lethal and deadly. Nonetheless, no information was gotten that way. But we did get some useful information on the other hand that a gun did show up in the city below the city. So we went straight there to see we can gather some new information. After looking around a little bit, we did find a spot where the potential suspect was practicing his hairs or her shooting, but that did not lead to anywhere, so we just went and asked for clues in the bar. After arriving in the bar, the bartender did confirm that someone did indeed lose a gun in the bar, however that was not that suspicious, I guess, but that that's okay. The gun was gone only for a few days, though, and then suddenly returned in the same spot as it was before. No one thought that was a little strange, so they just kept going on with their day. Here is our little com uh, little recap of the com of the story so far. A month ago, our suspect found a gun and took it home to disassemble it. Oh. As he figured out its mechanics, he yep. brought it back. In the following weeks, he yep. used some parts to create his own makeshift musket and took it to the Fleuve Sandra for target practice. Yep. Then, a few days ago, he found his target and carried out the murder. Mm -hmm. Once the deed was done, he left a rainbow rose on the body, just like the scene in the novel. Mm. It all makes sense to Paimon, but we're still no closer to figuring out the killer's identity! After Paimon for once saying something that wasn't completely stupid and me apparently being distracted by my phone, we did find out that the events are following closely with the story that we are actually filming. That was based on the book. However, the guy that we still did not have any enemies, so getting some information on who might have had a grudge on him didn't yield any good suspects. So we decided to wait a little while and let the time pass, and thus ends act two of our film murder mystery. 